In the small, picturesque town of Ravenswood, nestled between the looming mountains and the endless expanse of the dark forest, a peculiar horror unfolded. Elaine Morris, a young, vibrant woman known for her striking green eyes and spirited nature, experienced a terror beyond comprehension. On a seemingly ordinary October morning, Elaine woke up to a world of darkness. Her heart raced as she realized she couldn't see anything. Panic set in as her hands rushed to her face, only to discover a horrific truth. Her eyes were gone. Not gouged or injured, but simply absent, as if they had never existed, leaving smooth skin in their place. Terrified and confused, Elaine screamed for help. Her cries were met by her neighbor, Mrs. Thomas, an elderly lady who had always been kind to Elaine. Mrs. Thomas called an ambulance, her own voice trembling with shock and fear. At the hospital, doctors were baffled. There were no wounds, no signs of surgical removal, and no medical explanation for Elaine's sudden loss of eyes. It was as if her eyes had vanished into thin air. Over the next few days, Elaine tried to adjust to her new reality, grappling with the terror of her unexplained blindness. But the nightmare was only beginning. She started hearing whispers, voices that seemed to come from nowhere and everywhere at once. The voices were sinister, speaking in languages she couldn't understand, and they filled her with an indescribable dread. Seeking answers, Elaine turned to the local police, but they were as perplexed as the doctors. Desperate, she sought help from a psychiatrist, Dr. Harper, who initially believed her condition might be psychological. However, as Dr. Harper delved deeper into Elaine's case, he uncovered disturbing aspects of her past. Elaine had been adopted as a child, her origins shrouded in mystery. Her adoptive parents, now deceased, had left few clues about where they had found her. Dr. Harper's investigation led him to a series of old, forgotten files in the Ravenswood Library. He unearthed a century-old legend about a cult that worshipped an ancient entity they called the Sightless One, a being that demanded sacrificial offerings of eyes in exchange for unholy visions and power. Elaine's condition began to deteriorate. The voices grew louder, more insistent, and she started having terrifying visions, scenes of rituals, human sacrifices, and an abyss of endless darkness. It was as if she was seeing through the eyes of someone, or something, else. Convinced that Elaine's condition was connected to the cult, Dr. Harper and Elaine sought the help of a local historian, who directed them to an abandoned church in the woods, rumored to have been the cult's meeting place. Armed with determination and fear, Elaine, guided by Dr. Harper, ventured to the church. Inside, they found an underground chamber. Adorned with archaic symbols, and a stone altar stained with centuries-old blood. As they investigated the chamber, the whispers in Elaine's mind crescendoed to an unbearable volume. Then suddenly, they stopped. In the silence, Elaine felt a presence, an overwhelming entity that filled the chamber with its malevolence. The entity spoke to her in a voice that reverberated through her very soul, revealing the horrifying truth. Elaine was the last descendant of the cult's leader and her eyes had been taken as a final offering to awaken the sightless one. In a desperate act, Elaine and Dr. Harper destroyed the altar, hoping to sever the connection. As they did, the church began to crumble around them, an unearthly scream echoing through the collapsing walls. They barely escaped with their lives, but the entity's final words haunted Elaine. It promised to return, to claim what was rightfully its own. Elaine's vision never returned, and she moved away from Ravenswood, but the terror of that experience lingered. She lived her life in perpetual fear, knowing that the sightless one was waiting, biding its time to return. The story concludes with the unsettling realization that some horrors are inherited, lying dormant until they are awakened to claim their doom.